So the statement you're asking me to respond to, set a plan, goal-oriented while in SIM. My thinking is something like I can't be profitable on a live account if I'm red on SIM. Please correct me if I'm thinking this wrongly. So no, that's spot on. And here's the very, very simple and candid and definitive like distinction, which is, am I a gambler? Am I a gambling addict? Or am I building a professional trading career? So the first year when I went full time in 2013, I lost like 70 grand of my own money. Blew up an account, luckily had some left and rebuilt. What I realized in that three month period was I wasn't a trader, I was a gambler. I was addicted to the autonomy, independence and image of trading. But my actual trading was just me showing up every day to this job and just literally donating money to the market, not making any money, losing huge amounts of money. So the question is just, Am I a gambler showing up to a slot machine or am I a trader trying to build the foundation of a professional trading career? The gambler can't show up to the SIM account and have any fun. The gambler can't show up and treat SIM trading professionally, rigorously, and authentically. The gambler can't show up to the, um, the slot machine and track their results, uh, ask really tough questions and try to discern the landscape of their journey, you know, the different, the changing inputs and so forth, because all you're seeking is the high and the low. It's all you're seeking. You're seeking the thrill and, and, and depending on how Freudian or psychological you want to be, the misery. There's that old saying, everyone's getting exactly what they want from the market. So people that show up to make a million bucks a year from the market or a million bucks a day from the market, with enough work are doing that. People that are showing up for the same stimuli, the same inputs as a gambler showing up to a slot machine are getting that. So sim trading is a big deal, whether you're trading tiny on micros or actually just sim trading. Because what a professional cares about is continuity and building, uh, uh, building belief and a confidence in themselves. Why can't you do that on sim? Like 30 days from now, if you're green four out of five days on sim and you doubt your doubts, you know you're not having these massive blow-ups, you have a, a baseline. You have a foundation that you've set for yourself to re-enter um, re trading real money. But that's going to be very, very difficult or impossible because if you're a gambler, if you're showing up to the market as a gambler, you're not going to get any of those important stimuli. You're not going to get any of those important inputs that you need even to care about doing this. I care about doing this because my prospects in this human life are very dim if I'm not good at trading. And so I'm not bad at it. A gambler's going to have a, 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 tough, a tough time getting along that same path as, as me including old me, old gambler Tim. So it was only when I changed my mind to, okay, I'm actually going to treat this like, a, like an athlete who's a novice in some sport, any kind of professional, any kind of craftsman who's novice in their craft, in their vocation. Start small. Build basics. Build nomenclature. Build basic like tenets that you can take with you through higher levels of the craft. Trust your... Learn to trust your footing. Learn to trust your confidence. All of that can be done in sim. Unless sim is so unengaging that you can't, you don't even care about what seven days of results on the sim account mean because it's not real. And you're not getting any thrill or misery from it. Then you're just a gambler. Showing up to a broken slot machine and not having any fun because you know no money can come out or go in.